Dr. Uh, actually, sorry, this guy, we're going to have another doctor first, Dr. Francis Christian. He comes from Saskatchewan, Saskatoon. He has been relieved of his position as a medical ethics professor because he went on CTV News some months ago saying that these shots are experimental, they're untested, uh, they've been created way too quickly, and basically they're not safe, so we shouldn't use them. That's all he said. He got removed from his position at the uh, university. He's now being, of course, investigated, but he's coming to us here and he's going to be talking about Dr. Henry's uh, mandates that are coming up soon. So enjoy Dr. Francis Christian, another Canadian hero! My name is Francis Christian, and I'm a physician and surgeon, and I stand with our magnificent truckers for freedom. It is the 10th of February, 2022. I would like to tell my long-suffering fellow Can Canadians and the world that medical science is on the side of the truckers. Science is on the side of the truckers to end all mandates immediately and bring an immediate end to the oppression of our people. This includes all declarations of emergency, federal and provincial. There is no medical science that supports any federal or provincial governments usurping the people's power by declaring fake emergencies. This includes the abuse of our children with masks and mRNA injections they don't need and which are not safe and not effective. The medical science does not support masks for kids or COVID vaccines for kids. Medical science has proved that lockdowns, community masking, social distancing and all the other mandates are useless and have caused enormous harm to every section of society except government bureaucrats working from home or those getting regular salaries, the so-called laptop class. The power belongs to the people, not to our politicians, not to our bureaucrats, not to our corrupt mainstream press, and not to our crime minister. As a physician and a surgeon of more than 20 years experience, I can tell you that the mRNA injection, otherwise called the COVID vaccine, is neither safe nor effective. It cannot stop infection. It cannot stop transmission. We have known all this for months. Stop all mandates now. To my trucker brothers and sisters, the medical science is behind you. Scientists and physicians from across the world stand in solidarity with you. And we support you. We salute you. We are completely on your side. This morning, the interim Conservative Party leader, Candice Bergen, said she wanted our magnificent truckers for freedom to take down their barricades and go home, claiming Parliament would now take it up for them. Shame, Candice Bergen. Shame. The trucks are not going anywhere. Let me repeat that. The truckers are not going anywhere. The people are not going anywhere. They don't believe a word of what you say, Ms. Bergen. They don't believe a word of what any politician says. They want all mandates lifted now. Where was Her Majesty's loyal opposition when you voted with the Liberals on bill after bill, bill after oppressive bill, including all the mandate bills? Where were you and the Conservative Party? when our people were losing their jobs and small businesses, when the yoke of an oppressive tyranny was heavy upon our people. Ms. Bergen, you don't speak for Canadians. You don't speak for the people. You don't even speak for the Conservative Party. And nobody believes you. Mr. Jagmeet Singh, I spent nine days in Ottawa with the truckers. I did not meet or see a single 
racist, white supremacist, or misogynist, trucker, or protester. You should be ashamed of yourself, Mr. Singh, and you may have committed a hate crime by using racial slurs against truckers and protesters, including myself. I saw several Sikh truckers and protesters, too. You should come to Ottawa and meet your own community that has chosen to stand on the side of the people, on the side of freedom, of liberty. Your own community will be ashamed of you. Mr. Trudeau, don't project your own racist views and black face appearances onto other people. It is pathetic and abominable and criminal. For Canadians, it is also deeply embarrassing, but satisfying too, that you have deservedly become a laughing stock on the world stage. Mr. Trudeau, do I look like a white supremacist to you? Am I a brown white supremacist? In my nine days in Ottawa, I exchanged long, genuine, affectionate hugs with truckers and protesters. We traveled the streets together. We fed the homeless together. We picked up garbage together. We shoveled sidewalks together. We guarded the tomb of the unknown soldier together and protected our monuments together. Mr. Trudeau, stop the hate speech now. Your crimes are already adding up at an alarming rate. To my physician and nursing colleagues who have seen the abuse and manipulation of medical science and data by governing, governments and bureaucrats, and even by our fellow physicians and nurses, you may have been afraid to speak up and speak out until now. Fear no more. Science is on our side. History is on our side. The false narrative has collapsed. Freedom is on the march. Switch sides now before it is too late for you and you're forever identified with the tyranny. To my fellow Canadians, this magnificent Truckers for Freedom convoy is now a movement for the people, by the people, and of the people. It is unstoppable. The Truckers for Freedom are fighting for your freedoms, your children's freedoms, and for my freedom too. Come and join us in Ottawa in peaceful, legal, disruptive protests and expand your peaceful, legal, and disruptive protests everywhere. The walls of oppression and tyranny have cracked. They are shaking and will soon come tumbling down. The truckers have already won several victories for us, the people. They have fractured the Conservative Party. They have ousted the two, O2. They have put the Liberal Party on the defensive. In provincial and federal halls of power, the tyrants are shaking in their boots. But the battle for freedom is only beginning. My fellow Canadians, this is a consequential and generational battle for freedom, for humanity, for all our todays and all our tomorrows. A miraculous time to be alive. The eyes of the world are upon us because it is humanity's battle too. God bless our people, long oppressed and now like a caged bird set free, about to taste the freedom of the blue heavens. God bless our beautiful country for two long years suffering under a fascist tyranny and now waking up to freedom and liberty and human rights. God bless our magnificent truckers for freedom who under the hand of God have made all this happen.